back with Miss Jamaica Kitchens here at Grand Diva Studio. Question, I'm natural. I'm taking care of my own hair. Do I still need to come to the studio? To Grand Diva? Well, I mean, you don't necessarily have to come to Grand Diva Studio, but I do feel that um, the, the, the reason why a lot of people don't come to the salon is because they feel like it's just too pricey. Mm -hmm. um, there are ways that you can cut the price down and still be able to manage um, healthy natural hair okay mm -hmm. um, if you just simply were to just save up maybe two months worth you can go every two months to get a shampoo a deep steam condition treatment maybe mm -hmm. and maybe your inch trimmed every so often just that alone it's going to help manage your hair. You, you, you'll be able to, we're going to have to cut and edit that okay. part. We just started over again. Just, okay, great. Just go. Good. Um, do you still need to go to the salon? Do I still need to come into a salon even though I'm natural? Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. You may not be the type that has to come in once a week or once every two weeks. Mm -hmm. um, maybe you can be an every three week person. Maybe okay. you can be. What am I getting done? I'm that I that I need to come into a, a salon. Well, for? It, it depends on the looks that you're going for when you're not in the salon. So okay. if if you're somebody who wants to wear their hair naturally straight, mm -hmm. you might want to try come and maybe stretch it out once every two to three weeks. Okay. If you're someone who likes to wear their hair in the natural form mm -hmm. and try other natural styles, mm -hmm. then you can be a once every month or once every two month type of client. Okay. But as long as you are at least coming into the salon getting your hydration treatment, okay. uh, maybe once every two to three months for your ends trimmed, mm -hmm. then you'll be able to manage and maintain your looks at home because that awesome. stylist who should be educated right. on how to educate you okay. on what products to use, mm -hmm. how to style it, how to maintain mm -hmm. it or whatnot, so you should be fine. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Now, I really want to talk to you about this. The social debate that's going, you see it on Facebook, you know, I'm proud and I'm natural and get rid of the creamy crack. How do you feel about the natural versus relaxed debate? Uh, I, like I said before, I'm absolutely not against the relaxer system. Mm -hmm. I'm against the, the over-processed use of mm -hmm. the relaxer system. Mm -hmm. I am also against mm -hmm. um, the I'm natural and free and I don't have to do anything but wake up every morning. Okay, <laughs> right. we, we're I'm going, against that too. I'm we're going to we're going, America. We're going to stop that. <laughs> we're, we're going to stop waking up, getting out of the bed, and running to the grocery store and and everything and everything's Another everywhere everything's smashed everywhere. on one side mm -hmm. curly on the other right sticking up straight at the top and in the back right it's over you still need to care for your yes hair, you regardless. do it, it it does require and as a matter of fact mm -hmm. um it's easier for me to wear my hair straight mm -hmm. i actually i actually right. like hair that moves Right. I love for my hair to move and even when I had a relaxer mm -hmm. I loved body and I love the way my hair moved mm -hmm. I I am a specialist in precision cutting mm. so basically that that actually is my gift in art is cutting natural mm -hmm. hair is just something that I picked up okay okay so here's here's do you do you buy into the whole concept of the whole uh, we're we're processed because that's what the media has pushed on us. That's what we feel we have to be in order to be accepted. Do you buy into that, or do you just feel like I feel like this? I feel like this. Mm -hmm. You can be naturally straight, or you can be naturally curly, as long as it's maintained. Mm -hmm. As long as you have some form of a style that you're using, as long as it looks neat. And, and and it and it appears to be cared for. Mm -hmm. You know, the whole I'm just gonna walk into work and, and to scare everybody because it's sticking up all over my head. No. Okay, but you still have and, and let's take that uh, another social aspect, corporate America. I have debated whether or not to to flat iron my hair just to go on an interview or should I find the right natural hairstyle that looks 
um, uh, uh, that, that has a certain look so that they don't necessarily know that I'm natural or it conservative looks like conservative why should I have to be conservative do you feel what? that that's necessary it's, it definitely is necessary when you're talking about getting a job well, and it depends on. and it depends on what type of job you're going for as well every I'm telling you everything is all about appearance okay we I've learned that I learned that when I was in cosmetology school mm -hmm. Appearance sells. It just does. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. it, 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 if you went into an interview and you're neatly pressed, okay, mm -hmm. your hair can be in a natural form as long as it's neatly combed. But what if, do you, do you feel that there's pressure to do the neatly pressed or a certain hairstyle versus, I mean, I love big hair and my hair has gotten right to the right length where I can have the wavy up front. Um, and then you know the full look, but I don't feel like I can necessarily walk into an interview with that look because you get this. You can, and you have you have to do that with confidence. Mm. Confidence sells. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I'm going. So you I'm don't necessarily to... buy into you should have no. a, a corporate look no. versus you should. Be... You should be neat and pressed. Mm -hmm. And 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 when I say neat and pressed, I'm talking about from head to toe. Right. Neat and pressed. Right. I'm not talking about just your hair has to be pressed out. No. Go right. in there with your hair neatly combed. Mm -hmm. Go in there with confidence and, and look the person in the eye and mm -hmm. let them know that you're good for the job, regardless as to what type of hair I have. It's what I was born with. Do you feel that there is a stigma, though? There is, but there shouldn't be. There shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. I, I agree. I believe that there is, but again, there shouldn't be. But the weird thing is that now you look on television every other commercial that natural. has an African American big on hair. there big natural big, the kids everybody the ki everybody's natural love it but when we talk about corporate America and we talk about going for a job you still have that well well you gotta think back you know there, there's a lot of older people in corporate America too mm -hmm. so the, they're, they're wanting us to just be straight you know mm -hmm. the way things were. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. It all comes with change. Okay. Changes, you know, come in time. So girl we have girl. to change. Girl, yeah. girl to girl, men. How do you think they t they're taking it? I mean, you think they like it or they don't like it? Are they they're used to one thing and they're what 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 has been your experience? My, my you experience know. has been. Hold on. Before we get started. Oh well. Just, just your experience has been. Mm -hmm. uh, Start with her, or do you want me to start with my question? You, your experiences. Okay. Okay. Right now? These batteries are cheap. Yeah, go. And, and go. It's and fine. My, my experience has been um, vice versa. Um, I actually dated a guy that preferred my hair to be in an afro look. Mm. He loved it. Mm -hmm. um, I dated someone that absolutely hated it. <laughs> and it, it was funny because... I was out shopping and he walked up to me and was like, hey, is that your makeup? I'm like, yeah, hey, how are you? I've seen you in a while. And he's like, so, you're natural. And I'm like, so, yeah. He's like, so I don't like it. And I'm like, oh, so wow. I didn't ask you. Wow. Continue yeah. shopping. <laughs> Have a nice day. So, I mean, I, I do believe that majority of our men do prefer our hair to be straight. Mm. Um, the majority of our men love just long hair. They're used to it. They're just, just used to it. Mm. I mean, and honestly, mm -hmm. it's because they're used to it. Right. They're not used to that different look. Mm -hmm. That's that. And so when natural hair first came on the scene, there were, it was like all men were against it. And now right. there's more and more men be, are coming to be acceptable. Mm -hmm. uh, they're coming to accept, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. they're, they're leaning towards more acceptance. They're accepting it a lot more. Right. Um, there's still those that. <laughs> and she looks off camera at our producer today. Yeah. <laughs> Who well, has been very vocal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I tell you what, um, I, I'm with you. I think that the more men have seen it, and I think that's a good reason for a lot of women to take that little extra time, the extra money, set it aside, and actually coming to a shop like yours 
so that they can get a style. And I think that's that's one of the things that they're missing. They think with natural hair, all of a sudden all you gotta wear is a fro. You know, but there are tons of styles. So and studs, many different looks. You can have the different looks. And, and, and all you have to do mm -hmm. is just start trying different things out. Mm -hmm. Consult a professional. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be an every week person. You don't have to be an every two week person. But at least come, um, come and get some sort of professional advice. Awesome. Jamaica, I have had a ball. Me too. You know, I real I'm I'm really glad that we came in. I'm really proud of our young entrepreneur Thank here you. in our own business. Thank you. And we're gonna have to come back and talk about that. Being a woman Please do. here in Louisville with her own business, you know what that takes. Um Woo -wee. Yeah. <laughs> so we've had a wonderful time and we hope that you did as well. Please be sure to uh, check us out on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, at Our Voice, Our Opinion. Thank you, and we'll be back soon. Thank you. Our Voice, Our Opinion is brought to you by Gallery MD, where we sell reclaimed vintage art, furniture, and accessories. <laughs>
Our Voice, Our Opinion is brought to you by Gallery MD, where we sell reclaimed vintage art, furniture, and accessories.